Hey everybody, welcome back. And if this is your first time to the channel, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy it. This is Whiskey Nature, and I'm Delan. Today, I'm going to talk about Dragon's Milk Brewery and Distillery. They're located in Holland, Michigan, and they have a lot of great products coming out of there. Talking to a lot of people online about local distilleries in their area, uh, the one consensus is everybody seems to be proud at some of the work these distilleries are doing. They're smaller distilleries. They're not as big as your Maker's Mark and you know stuff like that, but they're putting out really great products. And this is one of them. This is one of those breweries and distilleries that's just doing fantastic work. Uh, the Dragon's Milk um, New Holland Distillery has the uh, Bear Barrel B Bourbon, the uh, Bourbon Aged Stout, Bourbon Aged Stout with Coffee and Chocolate. They've got a Triple Mash Stout. They've got a ton of great products. Uh, on the whiskey side, they've got the Bonded. They have the Toasted. They have a 10-year and it's, it's all great stuff. It's all great stuff coming out of there. Uh, this one is pot distilled. It is a high malt recipe. I don't really have that much information on it. It wasn't listed, but um, it's a high malt recipe. And um, their small batches are made from 100 barrels or less. So each batch of small batches come from 100 barrels or less. Um, this one... It's not only really good, but it has a cool bottle. I love the bottle. I don't know if you can see the dragon scales, but they're pretty cool. And a lot of times people say, oh, don't judge a whiskey by how cool the bottle looks. You can judge the whiskey by how cool the bottle looks. This is a great whiskey. Um, it's 95 proof and it's just fantastic. I can't find anything wrong with this. I'm going to go ahead and give it a little smell. I get a lot of fruit. I get a lot of fruit and vanilla on the nose. I'm going to say like orange, like an orange fruit. And it's really light. Um, you can smell it. You can get into it. You don't have to worry about the um, ethanol. It's not really a burner. You get some bread. Almost like a toast. Mm, take a sip. It's one of the palate. On the palate, yeah, that bread definitely carries over, and um, for with with malt, when there's a high malt, I always get some type of chocolate, um, butterscotch um, taste that's coming from it. It almost to me has um, almost like a stout taste to it, but it's not heavy. It's not heavy at all. It's a nice sipper. It's a very different profile from a, a whiskey or bourbon. It's, it's different in a good way. Um, it really coats the mouth. It hangs around. So I would say not small to medium finish, but probably right around a medium to just past a little medium because it's still there. Um, still getting that malt, still getting that chocolate, um, getting some vanilla. Definitely getting a toast. Definitely getting a toast. Um, yeah, that um, Nutella chocolate spread is funny as it sounds. I taste Nutella and toast. I don't know where that's coming from, but that's the chocolate and bread that I'm getting. Um, you definitely get some orange off the taste. Uh, you get different fruits. For 95 proof, this is really good. Um, it is slightly complex. It's not overly complex. It's a 95 proof, but for the proof, you get a lot out of the sip. I 
And the nose is really good too. The nose is really good. Um, there's just nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with it. If you see the small batch, I would pick it up. Um, it's a really good sipper. And the few people I've talked to about it, had some samples and friends, um, they love it too. And I can't really see the small batch on the shelves that often. So when I see it, I grab it. And um, it's kind of like the Bonded. Their Bonded series is really good too. But um, I haven't seen that in a while. One more taste. Yeah, definitely very good. Orange, bread, chocolate. You get some vanilla in there. Um, the oak comes through. The oak doesn't come through heavy. Um, the fruit and the chocolate kind of cover it, but the oak is definitely there. Um, there's the vanilla at the end. It's really good. It's really good. Um, if you see it, pick it up, grab it, and give it a try. Do you have any local distillers in your area that you really like? Let me know. Put it in the comments. And if you wouldn't mind, like and subscribe. Um, I will be trying to put out content daily and bringing out some good different bourbons and whiskeys. Thank you. I hope you all have a great day.